A lot of this hinges on Americans getting those checks, and the sooner the better. Now, many, uh, you might recall yesterday this time, there was concern that there was a snag here on those unemployment benefits, which by some people's math are so generous, an, an extra $600 uh, a week, that they might uh, make people want to stay in unemployment and seek out an alternative private sector job. Steve Moore joins us right now, the former uh, Trump economic advisor, multiple best-selling author. Steve, they obviously settled all of that. This was passed unanimously yesterday. But that is a concern, is it not? Or is it a worry that, that's been overdone? It's a giant worry. It's, a, it's, it's the thing that's keeping me up at nights, among other things right now, Neil. I think that the, this bill, which on balance is certainly going to help people. Oh, by the way, incidentally, Neil, can we stop calling this a stimulus bill. This is not a stimulus bill. This is an aid bill. It does not stimulate the economy. There's nothing in this bill that is going to stimulate productivity and so on. We need, we're actually going to need a bill uh, to do that. This bill is simply providing aid to businesses and workers that need it to get through the next uh, couple of months. Now, on this issue of the four months of uh, unemployment insurance, I think it was a big, big, big mistake. I worry because you and I want to see a V-shaped recovery, not an L-shaped recovery. And hopefully when we're out of this in a, a month or two and we get people back on the job, I think it's going to be really difficult to get millions of people back on the job if you're providing them 100 percent of their paycheck if they don't work. I mean, economics is all about incentives, as Arthur Laffer taught us. If you pay people not to work, they're not going to work. You know, I also wonder, too, as everyone needs money and no one's going to complain about money coming their way, but if you're stuck in your home because of the virus and there are no stores to go to because of the virus, uh, are people going to go out and spend that dough at least right away? Well, people are going to need it to uh, to make their mortgage payments, to uh, you know pay their bills, their utility. Uh, people are going to need it for their groceries. So, look, I'm not opposed to providing some pe people with you know some cash here so they can get through this tough time. We don't pe want people to go hungry or homeless or not be able to pay their bills. And similarly, I think the po the most positive thing about this bill is those loans to the small businesses because you know I'm on the board of a small business. If we don't get that that loan, we're out of business and we close up and we have to sell all our assets at 10 cents on the dollar. So this is a way to make sure, look, every decision we're making in Washington now should be how do we set up this economy so we're just going to shoot out of this like a cannonball as soon as the economy opens up. And, and the problem, I think, in some of the thinking in Washington is it doesn't matter how much, how many trillions of dollars the Fed uh, you know, puts in, injects into the economy. It doesn't matter how many of these aid bills are passed. Neil, if we're not starting to produce things again, what are people going to buy? I mean, production, the entire economy starts with people producing things. And that's where we've seen, you know, the breakdown, obviously. And that's why I wasn't so surprised, Neil. I'm surprised people are surprised by this three million jobless number. Of course, when you shut down half of the economy, you're going to get a lot of people lining up for unemployment benefits. And the longer they're sheltered at home, the longer this could be a problem, right? You better believe it. I, I think the, tr the, the president, I know this is controversial, uh, but I think the president made a very wise decision in shooting a little bit of confidence in people and a little optimism that there is a light at the end of this tunnel, that hopefully by Easter Sunday, we're going to get things, uh, at least on a rolling basis, people back on their jobs, businesses up and running. Because my, what my worry is, is the cascading effect of having the economy uh, shut down week after week. When people talk about seven or 10 weeks of, of a shutdown or 12 weeks or more, then you're not talking about 3 million people on unemployment insurance. You're talking about 30 million people. And that's a scenario none right, of us want right. to see. All right. I hear you. Steve Moore, thank you very much, my friend. Be well. I appreciate it. Thank you, Neil.